of the fencer here. I've been asked to uh, replace this bit of fence line with uh, something that keeps the dog in four feet high and uh, looks a bit more decorative than what we've got goes down there as well okay see what we can do okay I've stripped the old panelling off and the posts are not four feet high they're only about 900 high not 1200 so what I'm going to do because the front of the post has got dam damage on it I've decided to make up some little brackets and I'm going to put the um, an extension on the post that takes it up to four feet high and I can then bolt my panelling to these and these of course have holes in them so I can bolt the uprights to the posts. This one's at an angle so I've physically made brackets and bent them so they fit on the post and come out at the angle. Right, so we'll mount the this one and show you some more. By the way, one method while you're attaching the ends and bolting it together is to use G-clamps. But the other method is quite simple. If you want to get them parallel, put a nail in and then just rest the piece of timber on the nail. doesn't matter how heavy or whether it's a full uh, rail from a f post and rail fence or like this, the supports for a very lightweight fence and you can adjust it up and down by pulling the nail out and getting it all level parallel so everything's correct but just simply using a nail another little trick I've done I've sharpened a Phillips head screwdriver to a point so that I now have a punch to punch a hole in the tin to put in the screw. So instead of the drill getting around all over the place, it gives a nice neat clean finish. So the first panel is set up, finished and uh, it's stuck on the posts, bolted to the posts, screws on the tinware, so we'll continue with the next one. So having finished making this side, I've made up a couple of spaces that give us a dimension between the bottom board and the, and the lower support rail and the lower rail and the top rail and I transferred those over to this so we have spacer in the bottom and we can measure the distance between the two to give us our equal measurements all the way along the fence line. So having completed the first section I have made a gate to go in between to replace the existing and finish the back side of the panelling. We'll go and walk through the gate. So the new fence screwed to the support rails with the panelling and going up to the house. 